What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. Woo! Wow, uh, big news recently. Obviously, I'm sure if you're watching this, you know how big and bad the coronavirus is getting, okay? So it's not so bad health-wise, but in terms of the impact economically, all this stuff, you know, we're in a full-on pandemic, okay? This, this ain't no joke. This virus is here, uh, and we're gonna have to deal with it right now. So I've been getting a lot of messages from people that have been asking me, hey, Lloyd, how are you dealing with the coronavirus? What are some things that we can do to keep improving our dating lives, keep having a dating life while this is going on? Uh, well, not to worry you guys I am not gonna leave you hanging because in this video what I'm gonna be covering is I'm gonna be covering how I see this virus affecting the dating sphere in the Western world um, how I see it kind of like playing out uh, and then finally I'm gonna talk about the opportunities that are gonna be present because with every crisis there's always an opportunity if you are the smart one to see it okay but not everybody does usually people just kind of like Huh, well, I'll just wait for this to be over. There's, there's, there's always an opportunity there, whether it's business, whether it's in your social relationships, um, there's, there's, always a, there's always an opportunity there. Okay, so before I get into this, you guys, um, again, I'm coming out with that product within a couple months. We might have to, well, not a couple months, but we might have to push it a little bit, uh, certain aspects of it back uh, due to this virus. Um, but if you wanna get notified when those will be coming out, when the actual product will be coming out, there is gonna be a link in the description below. Click on that link. So. The first thing, how is this going to affect people's dating lives? Um, uh, it's, it's definitely going to impact uh, people's dating lives, you know, across the country, across the, the United, uh, across the world. I, most of my students are indoors, uh, a lot of public events are being canceled, a lot of social events are being canceled, a lot of people are working from home or, or not working at all. So this is going to negatively impact it. And I know some people tend to think that, oh, this is not a big deal, it's just gonna blow over. Um, that's not true at all. The hospitals, the data that we have are, are hilariously underrepresenting how many people are actually sick. Now, the good news is, is like, if you're watching this video, like 99.9% .9 chance, like you're gonna be just fine. Even if you get sick, you know, I, I almost, wish people every, I wish I kind of almost wish that everybody would just get sick and then we could be done with it but uh, you know a lot of the elder folks would probably perish if that had happened not all of them just a, just a decent portion of them would, would probably perish I think it's like four to six percent six percent or something like that something like that Anyway, the point is, is that people are staying indoors a lot. People are not going out and meeting each other and that is a huge part of this channel and the advice that I give is get out and meet people do that. However, since this is happening, um, we are gonna have to change the game up a little bit. So before I would recommend that somebody walk up and talk to a real person as opposed to sending a DM, because that always is more effective. However, since you know, you're not gonna be able to be going out and talking to that many new people anymore, this might be the time to do that because guess what a bunch of women are at home doing right now? They're at home, bored, looking at their phone, maybe trying to meet a guy in this lonely time during this pandemic. <laughs> And then you got the perfect opening line. You can just say, hey, how's the coronavirus going for you? Or like, hey, hope you're surviving. You know, the zombie apocalypse. Just make, you can make a joke about it, make it some lighthearted stuff. Do that before everybody else does it. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna be talking about in the next coming months is uh, all the opportunities they're gonna happen. I'm gonna be posting videos about these topics, topics that I usually don't talk about, you know, when it comes to social media online dating. I'm going to be talking a lot about that, how to have better pictures, how to message people better. Um, Cause like I said, huge opportunity there where girls are just bored. They're just, you know, in there doing nothing. Okay. How can we be, how can we be more effective in those areas? The next thing too, I'm going to be covering is inner work as well. Um, half of, at least if not more than half of the battle is understanding yourself when it comes to dating. If you have yourself figured out, you know yourself very well, you're comfortable with yourself, then it becomes a lot easier to attract somebody because you have yourself figured out. Women don't usually wanna go for a guy who's damaged or is looking for them to solve their problems. So if you can figure those out yourself, then a lot of times you can be able to get that girl a lot easier and a lot of the techniques I talk about go away. In fact, a lot of times when people are coming through my programs, I give them, I'm pretty much, most, almost all of the guys that come through my program get the results that they're looking for. However, when this happens, a lot of times they're not happy when they're in it. So um, it's because they haven't done the self work that they need to do. So sometimes we actually recommend that we take a break from going out for a while to work on that inner stuff. And then when you go back out, um, a lot of the issues that you've been having um, will get solved. Okay, so that's a great opportunity to do that as well. 
Also too, this is a great time to educate yourself. I'm gonna be talking about books that I've recommended in the past that are great for helping to understand the dating sphere, helping to understand women, helping to understand yourself, the techniques, the strategies, and the mindsets that are really effective. Also too, and finally, this is a great time to practice positive thinking, becoming more of a positive person. Um, you know, a lot of times in crisis when things change, when there's a pattern interrupt, this is a great time to get out of that funk or if you've been kind of depressed or something like that. When something changes, uh, a lot of times this is a great opportunity uh, to change into a more positive mindset, to change some things and bring things up when they've been so low for so long. So uh, those are all the opportunities that I think are gonna be present. Like I said, you guys, just because the coronavirus is happening, just because we have a pandemic happening, does not mean it has to affect your dating life as negatively as a lot of people are saying. Uh, most people, I think, are gonna just be at home and just waiting for this thing to be over and just be kind of slobs. Um, if you're not like this, but if you actually use this as an opportunity, I think this could be a great one for you. I'm certainly gonna use it too. I've had to cancel a lot of my live events. I've had to restructure some of my programs, but, I'm gonna be focusing far more on the things that I've been talking about, which I haven't had time to in the past. So there's a great opportunity there, and I hope to see you guys on this journey. Don't let the pandemic kill your dating life. I certainly won't. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.